So first, copy and paste these values in the dimension section. You can open this tab by clicking N on the keyboard. Once you have done that, zoom in and decrease the value of the clip start. Press Ctrl A and then click on scale. Now rotate it 90 degree on the Z axis. Now import a reference image of iPhone front. Now scale and adjust the image till it matches the side of the solid. In the edit mode, click on the add selection button. Then select all its edges. Now go to the front view and press Ctrl B to bevel. Insert a face as shown. Similarly, insert a face on the back side. Once done that, insert another face as shown. Now select the outermost borders and extrude it on the Z axis a little. Do the same on the back side. Go in the edit mode and select this and grab that downward. Now select these and bevel it using Ctrl B. Similarly, do it on the back side. We will start by importing a cube. Scale that to the size of the button. In the edit mode, select all its sides. Now bevel that a bit. Select the iPhone and add a boolean modifier and then select the important cube and apply the modifier. Select the cube and scale that down and position it as shown. Now select the outer borders and bevel that and adjust the position of it. Also select the outer borders of it and bevel that. Now import another cube and scale it like that button. In the edit mode, select its sides and bevel them. Select the phone and add a boolean modifier and select the button. Apply that. Go in the edit mode and select its outermost borders and bevel that. Select these vertices and bevel them. In the same way, make another button on the right hand side. Import a cube and scale it like this. Now place it on the phone just like this. Now using the boolean modifier make this. Select the bottom face and extrude it up. Now select the upper face and the notch then merge these faces. We can make the speaker grills in the same way as we made the ports and buttons. So first import a cylinder. Then scale it like this and then apply an array modifier with some distance between them. Then apply a boolean modifier. Now hide the cylinders then select the outer vertices and extrude them down like this. Then grab them backward like this and extrude them backward. Similarly do this to the entire speaker wheels. Once done with that, make another two speaker grills on the right side. You can similarly make the USB port by importing a cube in place of a cylinder. Import a cube and scale it like this. Select all the corners and bevel them like this. Now bevel it to the phone. Now scale the upper vertices like this and grab them a bit down then extrude these vertices till the bottom to make the front camera import a sphere then scale it like this similarly import a cylinder and scale it like this and apply the scale then apply boolean modify on it now select these vertices then extrude it like this and grab them a bit down Now again select these vertices then extrude it inwards and merge them at center. Select these faces and merge them.
Import this image, then scale it like this and make sure that you have placed this image on the back side. Now import a plane and scale it like this. Then bevel its corners and adjust it like this. Select its all vertices and insert a face. And extrude it. Now select these vertices and bevel them. Import a circle and scale it like this. And position it like this. And extrude it upwards. Then insert a face like this. And extrude that upwards. Now select these vertices and add a cut. Now do as shown. Once done with that, add a sphere, then scale it like this and go to the edit mode and duplicate it, then scale it down. Now duplicate it and place it here. Before texturing, make sure that you have shaded smoothed all the parts of the camera and the phone. Rotate the phone by 90 degree. Then add a material and change the base color to this. Now adjust the values like this. Select all its sides and apply the second material to that. Then increase the roughness. Now add a new material and make it black. Then apply to these faces. Increase the specularity and decrease the roughness. Duplicate this material, then apply this to the screen and increase the specularity. Now apply the same material to these faces. Apply the same material that we applied to the sides to the buttons. On the camera bump, apply the same material but with less peculiarity. Add material and apply it on the flash. Now replace the principal shader to the image texture. And open the flash image. Scale it like this. On the lenses, make a glass like texture and assign them. On sphere inside, make a node structure like this. Similarly, do this to all the other lenses. Add the speaker texture and apply it like this. On the top and the bottom speakers. In the inside of camera, apply the black color to all the faces. Make sure that you group all the parts of the phone. 